Hello there, everybody. This is the Doctor, and with me is Tiffany Chan. Today we are going to be discussing Chapter 43 of Inside Mari. It's all true. And we come up right here on the heels of last week's little cliffhanger, where Sal is revealing things about the day that um, Yori and Mari spent together. Isao could not possibly have known, like, the exact words that Mari said. Yeah, I, I don't see how, like, obviously it's, 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 it's strengthening my theory, although there could still be other ways to explain it. Which right will come up here inside the story itself, but go on. Yeah, um, so, but at the same time, though, I mean, you, you can't, any other possibility at this point will kind of feel like a cop out because I, I will say this one thing about the series. I, I, I said it before. It's letting the hints out a little too quickly. And the problem is, we, I, if this is the conclusion, assuming this is the conclusion, that that means people have come to the conclusion, like at least 50% of the audience probably came to this conclusion, like at chapter 10. So, like, I, I feel like he should kind of be a little more um, hmm. subtle with his hints. Because huh. at this point, it, it's it, it yeah it, it could mean it Mari is course, it could mean that you know that's assuming that we're right about this that's what I'm saying assuming that we're right um because but I'm saying like if it's another if it's another uh explanation another reasoning then I'd like to see how he does that because it's still got to be you know ex ex good it's still got to be executed well you know um because I'm not gonna lie uh I'll I'll, I'll, I'll talk about, I'll talk about it later when Yori gives her thoughts about it but okay. so um. Yeah, basically, Yori's like, how did you know that? And Mari said, well, you know, you crawled into my bed with me, remember? And you told me about it. And she's like, but I didn't tell you that specific line, like the specific quote, which is, lie let's lie down here together again sometime. Uh, right. And Mari is kind of in denial. She's like, oh, your memory must be, oh, well, Mari, Isao. Yeah. Isao slash Mari. Uh, Isao's like, oh, your memory must be playing tricks on you. Yori, because that was the only one time we talked about it. Which does at least confirm that nothing happened in between that the readers missed. Like it's we, That's what we would need to go by. But then Yori can pretty much comes with the idea of um, have tell Lisa to give her as much detail as she, he can remember about that day. In his, they, that, he, refu he, he resists at first, but he just tells, she just tells him to not think about it. Just off the cuff, what happened? And so I guess she's he's explaining it almost perfectly. Like I'm surprised he isn't like, holy shit, how do I know this? But he's just explaining it, um, obviously because he was not thinking about it as she told right. him to. Um, and then Mari, and he said, well, Mari San was looking at the window, hmm? but she looked at you. Flashback, and he said it looked like it looked like you'd been crying, Yuri San. And it's basically what the real the, so far what we think is the the real Mari, like real real Mari. Um, well, I mean, this is the real Mari, but we don't know if this is the real personality of Mari. You know, you know what I'm saying? Well, again, like I said, right now we're still in theory on that part, but go on. Okay, okay so well, right now we'll just say that this is the real Mari talking, because it's showing that that's what she said to Yuri back before Sal came along. Um, so if she said that it looked like you've been crying, Yuri-san, and then when Mari-san saw that, I don't know, it reminded her of herself. And that is a key, key panel right there. Yep. I have a question. Why is it that this seems there's more panels in this in this page alone than Bleach? I mean, in these two pages. I don't know. It's I mean, <laughs> and yet there's really isn't that much in terms of content outside of the dialogue. Yeah, but the well, that's because it's not an action series, so it right, true. I mean, um, here you can, it's a little more justified not to use like the space like as much as possible there. But okay, like, anyway, yeah. Um, basically, Mario is Isa, Mario Isao is saying that. Um, Mari was reminded of herself when she was younger. Yep, which is I think telling of who Mari is. Like this is is this is interesting. So we we don't know who the real Mari is, right? Because even though we get we we got you know I said we have like the Mari that everyone thinks they know, and then there's the Mari that it's like a pervert, and then there's the real Mari that then then there's the Mari that you know Yori-san knows, and you know which is the real Mari, and I think that was that was what I was getting to. So it's this is currently the Mari that Yori knows, right? Yeah. But at the same time, though. This is Isao kind of ex show like he's he's speaking the thoughts of what Mari's thinking. Right. So whatever Mari is, this is what she's really feeling. This is, in my opinion, the true Mari yeah. talking. 
but it's done through in a way. It's done through. If my theory is correct, it's 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 amazing because it's done through herself, but at the same time, it's done through a third party. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's it's really it's really amazing how they do this. And <sighs> and of course, one more and then she said, "Well, that's that's why she wanted to hug Yori." Yeah. Because she reminded her of herself when she was younger, and then she took Yori's hand and held her and buried her in her che- her head in her chest and stayed still. Although I'd like to ask my I'd like to ask you, um, what does it mean by reminds herself when she was younger that, that she was alone that she cried a lot? Well, what what happened? I don't Is think that, we have that. I don't think we have that information just yet. Yeah, I mean, of course, speculation wise, I I think, but we do know what Yori's son's been through. We do know that. Like so kind she, of like um, like in the shadow of her sister, like that kind of thing. Friendless is cool. Yeah, exactly. Friendless is cool. And then my guess is that's when she was true to herself, right? And when she was true to herself, no one liked her. So I guess maybe she took on this persona, this fa- this fake persona to get friends, you know? And then she realized she hated it. Um, that's speculation, of course. Yeah. But it's, it would make sense because, you know, it seems that Yori-san... And, what is, wow, I'm saying Yori-san. I'm not Japanese. Yori. <laughs> uh, Yori and Mari... Um, Yori and Mari are more alike, and I think maybe we can use Yori at least as kind of like a, a um, an, uh, idea. A, an archetype, a, a character archetype of what Mari could have been when she was younger or was. Yeah, yeah. like a hint at least. Yeah, yeah, it's a hint. Um, so let's see what else is. And so he yeah, was saying like they stayed there for like what felt like half an hour, but was maybe more like five minutes. And that's when he, Mari said the line, "Let's lay down here together again sometime." She Yori she, she felt Yori nod her head a little bit, and and now it's kick clicking to Isao. How do I remember this? Finally, he's like, yeah, I don't know. It's like, and is is it just my imagination? No, it can't be your imagination, man. Oh, girl or person. Um, and so you? Yori, yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's all true. Okay, yeah. Like, and Yori pretty much comes up with my my second theory from the last one. That, that, oh yeah. Well, first that, I like to I like well, first I like to note that Yori San. I mean, damn, damn it! Why am I saying Yori San? <laughs> it's it's because they keep writing well, Sun, I think, right? Probably. Just don't fight it. <laughs> no, I will fight. I'm American. Damn it. Fine. Then say Miss Yori. No, she's younger than me. That's, uh, that doesn't preclude using Miss. No, just, just forget it. <laughs> Well, it, it does. I, I think it means I don't have to at least call her Miss. Because if, she, if she's older than me, I have to. Anyway, um, so Yori's crying or is about to cry. So I think that's a big, big uh, key part of an emotion. Because this is the first time she has shown that emotion to Isao slash Mari. Yeah. That's the first time. At least I, from what I can remember. Well, to who she regards as Isao. Yeah. That's why I say in, in Isao slash Mari. Kind of like the Isao version. Isao inside Mari's body. So far. Um, yeah. So yeah, you were saying? I said before we had like three theories, like yours, the one that you favor most, and I kind of lean towards it myself is that Mari's just loopy, basically. Like she's not all like this whole thing's like a split personality. But another theory that we came up with, and Yori is kind of falling into as well, is that Mari's still in in there somewhere. Like it's Isao is there, they did switch, but Mari didn't go to another body. She's still in there, which makes sense from the perspective that. She's convinced that that is Isao, a whole different person in there. So I can see maybe why it didn't occur to her first that Mari has just got a psychosis. So you yeah. can kind of see where she's thinking, where she's coming from. Huh? Yeah, but then that, that brings up the bigger question. Then who the hell is that Isao that we know? That the, the, the Isao in Isao's body? Right. And as Isao asks next, who was on the phone? Okay, I think, but I think we, we did talk about who we thought it could have been, right? Yeah, I said my theory was that it's more of the psychosis because Mario was completely alone at the time. But yeah, but, but you yeah. thought you thought it could also have been Yori's sister, Mari. Yeah, and but the thing is though, at least that is explainable. The problem is the Isao, uh, the the Isao part, like the actual the person, the actual person, the the body. That's we can't explain that otherwise. This yeah. this theory, like it, it, it can't, you know, you can't walk around walk around that. Yeah. So. Um, I, I think that's the biggest hole in this theory. Like, then what about the actual Sal? Yep. Um, and then she hugs <laughs> Ma, uh, y- uh, Isao. He's, yep. And I keep wanting to say Mari because I'm, yeah. I'm so convinced at this point that it's Mari, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, for the sake of the viewers, I'll just say Isao. Um, so he's, he's um, let's see. She's, he says, oh, she says, you don't know. Huh? And then Mar- oh, Isao's like, huh? 
I don't know. I don't know, but Mari... I finally got to meet Mari. Yep. And she's crying, which is kind of an interesting way of putting it. And, of course, the last pa- uh, last page is the two panels of... You know, one panel of her sniffing, and it, Mar- and Isao just being, like, giving, getting a shocked look, uh, or staring off into the distance, actually. Yeah. And, and then, then we see this guy. Show. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. Here's, the, here's the thing, though, like... That's the end of the chapter. Yeah, that's the end of the chapter. But here's the thing. She said, I finally got to meet Mari. Yet, she met her before. And that's because... And that thing that showed to me that even though we we think we know... We kind of get a hint of who Mari was when she met Yori. Yeah. Yori herself, even though she obviously went through that experience with Mari, never really got to know her as a person. So, this is actually her meeting Mari, but through another person's, eye, a third person's you know mind right um and this is i I just love this i i I like it the way it's going at it because it's like it's really creative i'll tell you that meeting someone through it it, it, even with their body but through the eyes and the 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 eyes or the well through the mind of another yeah of another person through the memories i mean mean, i I can't really compare it to another uh, like a a real life or series because this is really weird but she's meeting someone through the mind of another um, and this guy, this mind, aka Isao, can actually go into Mari's memories. Yes. So that was, that was my first theory that Isao was there and it was just simply tapping into memory somehow. Yeah. Theory two was that Mari's still in there, which leads to theory number one. But yeah, again, that's assuming that the fact that it's just a psychosis isn't the one that's right after all. Yeah. Um. I mean, I I, I actually still believe psychosis, and the reason why I think Yori says, you know, she, she she refuses to believe my theory, and she goes with the whole, you know, Yori, y- y- oh, not Yori, um, Isao is sleeping, uh, Isao, you know, uh, is- Isao, is, that's, that's actually Isao, and Mari is just sleeping inside the body. Yeah. It's because she refuses to believe that any part of Mari would become Isao. Like, the Isao that she knows, she refuses to believe that any that Mari is anything less than perfect. Because if she believes, if she realize, if she if she believes that Mari, you know, this is actually Mari she's talking to, then that means that Mari isn't the perfect girl she she thought she was. Right. And again, that's that's why it hasn't occurred to her that this could still be Mari on her own, and yeah. that's why she's still clinging to the body swap idea, because that seems to be... I think it's more of a case of um, preconception. Yeah. Like, you come up with a theory, you're so wedded to that theory that even though something comes up that might contradict it, you, you twist it to fit to what you're thinking of. Yeah. She completely idolizes Mari, and and the fact is, like, yeah, she she compl- she can't she refuses to believe that that this Mar this could be Mari because this is not the Mari like this that even though this is not the true Mari, this is still like assuming that my theory is correct. By the way, this is assuming my theory is correct that this Mari with it's it's she's coming from the the like the original Mari like right. a, like a branch. So that even that even that alone is is not good enough for Yori, and that's why she refuses to accept it. Because in the end, if it's all Mari and, and that Mari has a psychosis problem, then it's that that's that's bringing into the faults of Mari herself, and that's you know again as I said before, that would mean Mari herself is not perfect, and she right. just can't handle that because it's she's because Mari is Yori's perfect idol. Um, so yeah, but interesting that she uh, that she's crying. I mean, good. It's, it's interesting. Like you, you learn more about Yori's. Thoughts and her obviously her personality traits, like, such as you know how she how she she's in denial about what may be a possibility because she's not even considering the other possibility. Well, she's just going straight for this one. It could simply be that it hasn't occurred to her yet. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's subconscious denial because I, I don't think anyone's that stupid. Well, if you were there and it was in front of you, you might you you might not come, necessarily come to the same conclusion. I. I would have a hard time believing that someone swaps minds in in, in well, real life. Well, <laughs> that's that's the thing here. At least, I mean, she did have that difficulty on there until it was like definitively shown to her that that was Isao. At least, yeah. I think I, I'll just say this is probably where suspension that, of disbelief comes in. Because yeah, and, I mean, how that, how that's where I'm coming in from. Like when they mentioned the um, like preconception, like she's preconceived that this is actually Isao and Mario's body. So the idea that it is actually Mario lung is not simply not occurring to her it's just okay. it's um like the idea that it's it's not Isao after all because everything else is telling her that it is just it's not quite occurring to her the same way okay. I, I interrupted you right there go ahead 
Oh yeah, I mean, I was just thinking. It's, I was thinking it was along a similar path, but like the fact that she maybe inside, deep inside her, she knows, but like subconsciously, she's just putting it down, like you know, on on the bottom of the pile. You know what I'm saying? So it could either it could actually go either way. Like in the end, if she if this if she finds out this is Mara, she can be like, I knew all along that this this was you. I just didn't want to believe it. That type of thing. It could easily go that way. We might and, and ultimately. We, you might see that develop at some point too. Yeah, and and it, it ultimately, of course, leads to the same thing. It's that. Yori realizes that what she her pre, pre her pre notions her preconceptions is wrong or right. was wrong, and I think it, I mean yeah we'll come to the same conclusion. So either way, it, it doesn't really matter in that case um, because the end goals are still is still the same. Um, although now we now we now we know how Yori feels. I'm just thinking about how Mari or Isao feels. I keep saying Mari, but it's Isao at this point. Like, do you think he's doubting his his individuality at this point? Isao. Yeah, do you think he's doubting like his actual existence as Isao? Not sure yet. Like he said, like we don't know quite know how he's reacting to all this just yet. So that might be something we have to see next chapter. Yeah, because we know that Mari's like the, some of her personality traits is coming. It's coming back, and now he can he can actually uh, access her memories. So he might accident at this point. I'm I'm gonna predict that he might accidentally like do some of her quirks. You know, whether it be the way she walks, the way she talks, or whatever. He might accidentally. He might accidentally, and he'll probably notice it. But he might accidentally go into it, and of course, he'll probably notice it because in, in his memories, he'd be like, "Huh, this is how Mari used to be." Yet I'm acting like her suddenly for some reason. And maybe, maybe uh, in the end, maybe the Mari personality will overwrite Yasao's personality. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, do you, how? Um, just for prediction, how, how, uh, how long do you think this manga is gonna go? Because it's, it's chapter forty-three, right? Yeah. How how long how long from what you've seen so far like how much how much pay, like the um, how much progress has been done has been made up to this chapter chapter forty three of course uh, how far do you think it will go I don't know I mean I don't see this story reaching past a hundred so I would call it I would say we we probably see something start to wrap up around the seventy seventy five mark yeah I think that's also where flowers of evil which is AKA Akuhana Ak- Ak- Akunohana was around too I, I I'm not don't quote me on that. It it did go on for longer than in uh than most of this guy's works. Um Oshu I forgot his name, Oshi something. Uh but uh yeah, um I, do, I think this is gonna end probably around chapter sixty ish, maybe. Because I I don't see how much unless they take a s they sidetrack to Mari's relationship with the other girls. Right. Or her parents. If they do that then maybe it can it can get yeah. some more content. Or and, Yori and her sister. Yeah, yeah. So I you know what yeah. Oh, well, it depends. Yeah, I mean, we've gotten so. But the thing is, uh, in just in forty chapters, we've gotten so much like done. But who knows? I, I mean, he could slow it down a bit, and you know, maybe take a, a couple quote unquote uh, filler chapters. Who knows? I will say though, with the with the pace of this manga, filler chapters are not really they they they're not suited for this. Um, no. Unless 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 it's a filler that that it, maybe she spends a day like doing something, and maybe by the end she kind of like thinks about something important. You know. That yeah, like 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 last that, chapter, like, like yeah. last chapter, right? The, down, the, day. the downside there is it does come off as filler up to the like. This is a complaint we've had about Bleach before, where they're just padding it out till they can get to a certain cliffhanger. Yeah, but the, but um, I, I feel like Mar. I feel like well, the thing about Bleach is that it's annoying because it's an action series, but we're not getting all the action that we want. This right. is a manga that it's it's supposed to be kind of slow paced, and True. yeah, but it's it's like last chapter, right? Like the the, the majority of the time they were just eating. Um, and I mean, and I actually counted. We actually got through the chapter in the first seven minutes of, really? of, of a thirty-minute, yeah, of a thirty-minute video. We got through it for the first seven minutes. I mean, obviously, it was a first. It was our first video, so we talked a lot about our thoughts on the series overall. Yeah, and we kind of described the series a little bit too. Yeah, but still. Yeah, but in terms of just the chapter by itself, we got through it in seven minutes. Hmm. So, obviously, it was it was nothing much happened. But then at the same time, though, a lot did happen because we kind of got. We got we kind of we got a big re- revelation, and we also got how they um how kind of Mari or Isao and Yori interact with each other. I'm gonna correct myself a lot, aren't I? <laughs> and the way you're going, probably. Yeah. Uh, t- just just make sure I don't say Yori-san, please. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I say, uh-huh. at this point, like I said. I I'm still convinced. I think I think your theory is the right one on here. It's, it's where it's going to ultimately be the right one, but in story at least we haven't confirmed that yet. No. Yori is you know, kind of going more going more towards my theory that Mari is just simply there in there with Isao somehow. Yeah, but then again, when has Yori been white right in this chat in this manga? <laughs> hmm. When has anyone been completely right? Huh. 
maybe the person on the phone. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, I said, there I'm still wondering if that might just be more of the psychosis kicking in. Like I said, Mari was alone at the time, but then again, was there a, there was a record on her phone of the call, wasn't there? There was no record, right? It just had no color or like unknown color. No, no, no. There, there, there was a record. It was just private, private <sighs> ID, right? Yeah. Of course, that could just mean like a call with something completely random, and she just heard it anyway. Yeah. Um. Like but a yeah, telemarketer. I mean... <laughs> Which probably was the only one very freaked out telemarketer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It could be anyone. Um. It, it. I mean, obviously, you said that you know how to like make it private and all that stuff. Yeah, oh, one, one, one... it's easy to do. You just dial a certain number before you dial the phone number. I, I would. I will say this though. Um. I mean, why? If it's if it was my, uh, Yuri's sister, I wonder why she called. I wonder why she made herself private. Like, you know. <laughs> At the same time, though, um, you know. It, well, maybe I mean, it, that we, that could just be so. Say, um, Yuri's friend doesn't ask Yuri why she called him or why her sister called him from her phone. Yeah. Or, like I said, if it's not a number, if she called him from her own phone, like just so he doesn't try and call back. I don't know. I will say this though: they did show a panel of of Yuri's sister talking on the phone. I I I thought I thought that was a kind of a throwaway type of thing, but maybe now looking back, maybe it's supposed to be like a hint. Maybe. Uh. Anyway, yeah. Uh. I mean, we. I mean, yeah. I mean, one would ask, one would wonder, why the hell was Yuri's sister even like introduced? What was the point of her? You know. And ha- and having the same name as uh, Mari. Mari. So that that's even more important. Why the hell did you name her Mari? What is the point of that? You know. Yeah. Okay. We we know that her her and her sister aren't on the best relationship, especially since they had the curtain thing, which kind of shows kind of like a separation. But at the same time, oh, yeah. Why would you want her to be called Mari? Like, what is the point of that? You know. And uh, but yeah, um, it's it's a very interesting. Uh, so far, it's every, 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 really interesting about what's happening. Um. See, is there anything else I need to say? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's about it, right? I think we got ourselves covered on here. Um, I say we got our the theories are still kind of like developing on here. Well, a little bit more happened this week than last or this chapter in last chapter, though. So that's always good. Yeah, uh, I'll just say that, that that even though the theory hasn't been confirmed, it's being heavily, heavily implied. So yeah. I, 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 I'm, so if it, I'm with you on that. And I, like I said, I think it will ultimately be the theory, the thing that proves true. Like I said, we can't say that it's true yet. Yeah. So I mean, one would one one would have to say that um, I, if it if it doesn't end up being true though, I would I would love to see how he works away his, his way around that. Just because like how do you how do you how do you go get, go with the all these hints and say well actually it was it was you know B it was like you know this was actually so not, this was actually what's going on. It's like okay, but how did you know? What does this all mean then? You know, I I like to see that. Right. I mean, like I said, it it could still like there could be the possibility of some last second detail that does change our theory. But at the same time, depending on just how it's presented, it could end up being more of an ass pull than an actual thing. Yeah. And I, yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, just to quote, like, well, to paraphrase. You know, George R R Martin, the writer of the of uh, a song of, uh, of Ice and Fire, yeah. aka the Game of Thrones, yep. for, for the TV series. He has stated that it's actually really bad when an author changes his mind because of the audience. Like, if the if, if this if the author figured uh, realized that the audience figured out his you know the the uh, the conclusion too quickly. Yeah. Like the the uh, the reveal. Um, then maybe he might have changed it to be "quote unquote" unexpected. But what ends up happening is that it becomes, you know, the writing gets really bad because then it gets disjointed because there was there's no there's no that means because you're changing really, gears midway yeah. through. I guess it's like if you're typing something on a, in, a, in a chat, you change your mind halfway through, and the chat just comes out looking weird because of it. Yeah, and and of course, and George R. R. Martin says, you know, when you write something from the very beginning, you should still have the ending in mind, like oh, at least what you're going to do, because that way everything connects. Otherwise, it's just bad writing, and that's what basically happens. Um, you know, and it, it, what an ass pull is when you just disconnect like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that this guy that this guy here is not. I mean, the author is not uh, is not doing that. Yeah. Just simply because he is still going that direction. It's obviously not confirmed yet. Although, then if it's confirmed, then we kind of ended the manga a little too early, right? So, um, I think he's he's I think he's making it to the point where he's giving a lot of hints, but he still wants to explore more things. You know. Yeah. At the very, at the very least, I don't think he's treating us like stupid idiots. I think, he, I think, I think at this point, he realizes that a lot of us, a lot of us, has, fig- has figured it out. Yeah. So he's not. Like, so he's pro- he, like I said, so we'll probably start seeing more hints or more tips one way or the other as we go along here. Yeah. Um. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm I want to see what's the next chapter. Is, is she going to go back to her parents? Is she going to talk with the girl, other girls? I want to see her talk with Momoka again. 
just because I really I feel like I kind of want I want to see what what's going on. I mean, I know it's first time I'm more inter- I'm more intrigued by the parent drama, especially oh, parent, yeah. Yeah. especially if there is a psychosis and it's not just Esau like projecting his own parental stuff onto them. That was my first out when I got because I hadn't come up with any theory myself yet on that. Yeah. I kind of want to see how that turns out. Or if there is something more to it. Because, like I said, the last time we discussed this, I realized that the, her mom still had, had medicine ready to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't notice that. That was a good catch. Um, I will also state, though, that if it's if they're going to go with both, I think they're going to go with Momoka first, just because I think her, her being a friend in terms of, her, of someone affecting someone's life is a little less important than a family, and you want to save the best for last. So I think it's gonna, if, if he's going to go both, he's going to go with Momoka and her, her, and her father and her mother. I, I just feel like Momoka is a lot more... Like I feel, like, I want to see if they can actually do something about their relationship. Because in my opinion, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of, uh, I feel like I can predict what's going to happen with the mother and father. You know? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm seeing a lot of hints with them. But with Momoka, it, anything can happen, and that's why I like Momoka more. Because it's just anything can happen. Uh, they can hate each other forever, or maybe they can repair the relationship. Well, not very likely, but I just feel that the father and mother thing. I, I, I kind of see what's going. So. Yeah. I'd say that. I haven't spotted maybe the hints like towards the father and her, other than maybe like one or two things. Like, like I said, um, though, her and the like I said, the thing that's got me intrigued is just how the like I said the mother's got drugs already set to go, which suggests whatever's happening right now may not be the first time. Uh, although I one one will have to wonder. Well, it, it maybe it might not be the first time with the parents, but it seems to be the first time with everyone she knows. So if this happened before, it happened long before she met all these people. Right. right? Maybe when she was in middle school. Or I, I, I think they are in middle school. No, they're in high school. Oh, okay. Because I know that manga tends to do that. Uh, make people look older than they actually are. Um, yeah, I think in this more serious series, don't quite pull that off. I think it's. I think I said early on, it's high school. Because first chapter, I think, she was saying calling her a high school girl. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so, yeah, maybe middle school. Although, no, it seems like she knows Momoka. For, she's known Momoka for a long time. So, I'd say elementary school um, a little earlier. Although, what of course, can... it all, I mean, whatever is going on here, it could also be that it was kept private the first time like maybe the her friends don't know anything more than maybe like she got sick for a little while and then came back okay then one would wonder like why is she, is she, why isn't her mom forcing her to take the medicine if it's clearly happening again it, did she have to like easily t- like ease in ease into it you know take it one by one and then slowly yeah. her memory start coming back i mean like it's, it's really interesting how a lot of these I mean, things are happening a lot of detail I forcing think. medicine could be just as dangerous as not doing it though so it's hard to say like for, yeah. trying to force feed her that's what you mean well I don't say force feed I mean just like hey can you please take this medicine please I, I beg of you that type of thing well, not really force her but make her kind of feel bad about it or or at least convince her I think that's a better word I wanted yeah convince yeah. her to take if the there's anything parents should be able to do it's a guilt trip <laughs> true that's so true <laughs> alright uh, I think that's about it right yeah I think we're good to go at this point so All right. a couple more weeks we'll see get inside Mario 44 and we'll see how it goes from there I think uh, I think I got the date of the release correct um, I, I think it's every so every it's, it's it's every two weeks it's on a Monday and usually I think about 6 p.m. or 5, 5, 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific time at least that's what I saw from the countdown yeah. so yeah, I don't pay attention to the exact time of day just because what, a lot of ones I find like they, the translation come up like overnight or early in the morning so it's, I usually yeah. see them when I get up yeah and, and also the thing about it is that even though it's it's sometimes like you, you you'll say it's like it's coming soon, and mm-hmm. then sometimes they 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 cut out the the, late, the latest chapter because it's not quote unquote not the latest chapter anymore, but right. they don't have the actual latest chapter up, and that sometimes happens. I think it's the transition. Yeah. So yeah, the transition does that. So I recommend just waiting one extra day, so like the Tuesday after um, the, the you know the, the release date, you know, so the day after. Um, but yeah, so that's if you guys want to catch some Mari, I really recommend it. I like I like this manga. Yeah. Um, it's. I feel like a lot of things, even though it has slow pace, it's I feel like a lot of things are happening. Definitely. I'm in... oh, sorry, go ahead. I, uh, I, just, I just feel like I can get a lot of things from each chapter, even though maybe not much is, not quote unquote, uh, I mean, not much is happening. Yeah. Um, I do like the story and such myself. I'm a little iffier about the characters, like, because, like, how yours is kind of a, like, a B word to Isao, and Isao is just so timid about it all. But it's yeah. starting to grow on me now. Like, like now that stuff's developing, it's not such a big deal to me. At least, at least I'll say this. Yeah, your it sounds way too timid. Like he should. I really want him to stand up against Momoka when Momoka is being a bitch. But at, at least Yori was the one who helped her stand. Like at least yeah. you know. I, I would actually after Yori stood up to Mori, uh, to Momoka, didn't did Mar oh. did Isal kind of like go like stand up against her or she, did, he, did he just go with us, her? I want to say she did said something, but I think part of that was like when it comes to Momoka, at least he was Isal's been worried about wrecking Mari's reputation anymore than he can help. So. 
I mean, he's not doing a good job of that, but he's at least trying to worry about it. Okay, so final question. Who idolizes Mari more? Mar- uh, Isao or Yori? Or, if, you, if we take your theory, Mari herself. Yes. <laughs> I, know, I would say, I don't know, both Isao and, and Yori have like a very romanticized version of Mari. So it's hard to say here. It's like, but Yori, I would probably say more because he actually seems to know Mari a little bit better. Or at least has seen her up close and actually spoken to her. Because Isao was just, was just a stalker. Yeah. True. The one who doesn't know Mari at all, yet, if the theory is correct, is Mari. Amazing, yeah. isn't it? I kind of want my theory irony. to be correct. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I just want my theory to be correct because all this irony just comes right into the manga, you know? Yep. I, I, just, I just don't see any other scenarios as being as good as the one, even though it's predictable. Sometimes predict... Even though, even though some scenarios are predictable, they're still, in the end, they can still be executed well. Yep. So... Okay, that leads us to the end of the video. Yep. So, um, like I said, depending on how releases work out, we'll probably have either um, more One Piece and Blades coming up. But as they come out, we'll also include more Inside Mari, the Attack on Titan, and Kamigawa Kill. Kamigawa Kill. Thank you. I was blanking on the name for a moment there. So, in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video and put in any theories or any comments of your own in the comments. Like, subscribe, etc. Have a good night. Bye!